Oh my gosh, like it's nothing. <laughs> what can't this truck do? <laughs> well, turn very well, maybe. Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and I've got the Topher and Topher Drives. Unfortunately, we lost Tedward, but we are trading our supercars and sports cars for off-roaders, and this is the burliest of the bunch. This is the 2024 GMC Canyon AT4X AEV. So it means we're rocking the high output 2.7 liter turbo inline four up front, 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque. And we are gonna need it this week because we are going full adventure mode here. We rented a trailer from RV Share. Essentially, if you think about it, Turo for RVs. So this is an RV that I was able to pick up about 10 minutes down the street from my place, hook it up to our truck and head out here to really put to the test the 6,000 pound tow rating of this midsize truck. Not only do we have about a 4,000 pound camper ready to go here, we've got some Yamaha electric mountain bikes in the back. We are doing full lifestyle. We've got this thing fully loaded out. So we're gonna go out and have a lot of fun. And that's the cool thing about this Canyon AT4X is that it's a balance between incredible off-road capability. I mean, look at these rock sliders we've got. We've got huge 35 inch Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain tires, mud terrain tires actually, but then we have this incredibly nice to be in interior with this cool mixed contrast stitching and this white, these AEV logos in the headrests. This is supposed to be a do it all style truck that isn't going to be punishing to drive out there and to daily drive throughout the week. If you do wanna see more, we're gonna have coverage on the all new Lexus GX 550 as well. This is the over trail model. So that's gonna be great off road. And then back there you can see Chris Brower with the new Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road. Unfortunately, we couldn't do something like TRD Pro with AT4 XAEV, but TRD Pro is not ready. This is something you can go out and buy right away. So not only are we going out to go have fun in the desert, but we're going to be featuring the vehicles as well with some good off-road driving. So as soon as Chris is done doing his little road trip walk around, I'm gonna hop in the seat and we're gonna head out on the highway. But let me show you some of the things that make the Canyon a great option for towing. First of all, we've got an integrated trailer brake controller right there. So that, right off the bat, you're ahead of the game. You don't have to install anything. And then when you start the truck up and you have a trailer attached, first of all, I really appreciate this. A lot of Fords that I've towed with, they, uh, they have a tow mode, but then when you restart the truck, it goes out of tow mode, even though the trailer was never disconnected. That's always really bothered me. Not the case with this truck. You can see that little towing indicator down there telling me I'm still in towing mode. And I've got this digital gauge cluster screen here that's showing me my transmission temperature, oil temp, coolant temp, etc. But then over here in the center screen, I have a trailering menu. It's showing me how long since restarting that we've been towing the trailer. And then down here, it's showing me how much gain I'm getting with my trailer brake. So right now, pushing the brake, I'm getting 100% gain, zero, and I can also manually modulate it over here with my left hand. I could go in there to brakes and have information on how to set the trailer brake, gain, etc. Then going back, it's got a light test, which is really cool. I'll show you that here in a minute. And then a checklist. It actually has a 10-step checklist to make sure you go through and do all the things you should be doing every time you hook up a trailer. Then I can go back, I can hit this start light test. So even though I went and grabbed the trailer this morning without the help of either of my colleagues, I can go around and walk to the back of the trailer here and I can see that right now my right blinker is blinking and now it looks like brake lights are on. In fact, oh, oh there we go, yep, yep. So there we go, brake lights are on, running lights and then left turn blinker. So I get all of that happening without having to have somebody go in and step on the brake pedal and hit the blinkers and everything. So again, a lot of great setup here. Oh, and I should also mention both a four pin and a seven pin connector for a trailer built right in. So the Canyon AT4X is ready to go towing right from the factory. And away we go. Now something to be aware of if you do plan on towing larger things with your Canyon, these stock tow mirrors, or rather just mirrors, are not fantastic. They are decently wide at least, but I'm noticing that the blind spot monitoring seems to be confused by my trailer. I'm still getting blind spot monitoring popping up a few different times here. So I don't, uh, I don't quite understand why. I feel like it should recognize the trailer being there. But definitely nice having that electric trailer brake, helping me bring everything to a stop. And at least the mirrors are decently wide out. So I am able to sort of see, like as we're taking corners, what the back of my trailer is doing. Wireless device charger does not seem to be fantastic at this point in 
actually charging my phone <laughs> consistently. It sort of starts and then stops, so we'll see how that is after running throughout the day here. Do have a nice big head-up display with my navigation, so I'm seeing that I have a turn up here in 0.4 miles. Now this motor doesn't usually have to work very hard, obviously, for just driving around, but when it does need to sort of rev out like this, it, it feels proper, it doesn't feel overtaxed. So far it seems like the towing algorithm for the transmission seems to be making good use of the power band. But we will really test that here as we get up onto the highway. Not full throttle, but leaning into it, getting up to speed. Now, this AT4X AEV was not exactly getting fantastic fuel economy without the trailer. So, I can't imagine it's going to be very good with the trailer. But, let's, uh, let's see if it's given us... Well, so far, it's not giving us any average fuel economy on the center there. I don't quite know why. So, let's flip over here and dash. Over the last nine miles since we got the trailer, eight miles per gallon. I'm sure that'll go up though as we get rolling. Initial highway impressions. Those seem to be settling down quite a bit in here. The ride on these Multimatic shocks is great. Just kind of putzing along. Coming up an uphill here, pushing in to keep speed. We got a downshift right there. Probably get the cruise control set here shortly. But overall comfort seems good. Really been putting the canyon through its paces here. Even towing, going up this hill. Some real twisty road here. We've had some hard rain. We've had no rain. We've had a little bit of sleet coming down. And this is just a pleasant place to be. I've really been impressed by the truck. Multimatic shocks soaking up the brunt of the trailer really well. A lot of times you're towing, especially with these smaller body on frame trucks, and you're just feeling yourself be bounced around by any sort of trailer back there, but this is absorbing it really nicely. We've got it in four wheel drive auto now because we're down to about 46 degrees Fahrenheit, and I just don't want any situation where you sort of wheel slippage kind of puts us in an inopportune situation. I guess we can open this up, get a little extra light on the subject. Transmission does seem to be getting a little warm. I'm watching the temperature down there. It hasn't crested the three quarter mark. So I suppose it's doing its job and keeping itself cool. But the fact that it's only 46 degrees outside and it's getting warm does make me wonder what it would be like at 90 degrees. If we're coming up through here. But you gotta, you gotta think that they, they engineered this properly. Technology has been working well, however, I will say that I wish there were a way to disable the wireless device charger easily. It might be somewhere in here, but again, I'm driving. I don't want to be poking around in my car. I wish there were just a button like there are in a lot of other brands where you can turn that off because the wireless device charger has not been reliably charging my phone and I need the juice, so I've got it plugged in. It would be nice to be able to put my phone down there, but you shouldn't put metal objects over the wireless device charger unless you want them to be wirelessly charged. So it'd be nice to be able to have that off easily. Maybe there's an off button that I don't know about. Other than that, we are continuing on. We got one hour left. We put some fuel in this bad boy. Only been averaging 10 miles per gallon since we started pulling, but again, we've had a lot of uphill driving. So it was about 11 before we got onto these roads. We'll catch up with you in the desert. Hopefully a little bit more dry over there. Okay, now we finally get to take the canyon out of tow mode and into something a little more exciting. So we've got off-road, normal, Baja, terrain, tow haul, off-road, normal, or Baja. I think Baja is probably going to be where we want to go, right? Okay, 
Reduce that ESC. For driving fast over sandy terrain. I'm okay with that. Let's do it. Here's why we've got this truck. is for Baja mode. Because these Multimatic shocks are so good at crawling. But what they're also really good at is going fast off-road. <laughs> as long as we don't hit any rocks or anything. Oh man, this, it's just taking the bump so well. <laughs> Get a little hopping action going on. A little bit of washboard. Ah, uh, this powertrain is gutsy, man. They they tuned it right. Could probably move some of my baggage so it's not making so much noise for y'all, but hey, we're we're out here. This is real. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Lexus, look at your GX Go. We've been given the clear, so I'm gonna shift over here to, um, I don't know, tow haul, off-road, not tow haul, terrain, would that be proper? Tackling steep hills and crawling over extreme obstacles. That seems to be where I wanna go. All right, let's do this. Right, there we go. <laughs> uh, we did a thing. <laughs> now I suspect what's happening here is Chris is being and spotter in his shoes. See how white his shoes are? I'm going to do some locking of my rear diff here. Well, just tell me if I'm not fine. Okay. Still fine. Yeah, power, power. Would you like a ride? Oh no, here, he's right there. low here. It's too easy. It's so easy. <laughs> I went four low and everything. Man, the fact that you can tow out a camper like we did and be so comfortable and have such a nice time, have it be so easy and, and confident, and then come out and do this with a truck that costs this much and gives you a factory warranty, that was pretty awesome. Back out in the canyon, day two, and we're gonna see how well it'll crawl. We do have this terrain mode, but uh, how well will it really do in that? So actually, we're gonna go, we're gonna go four high first, and I'm gonna go into neutral and pick four low. Okay, we've got some engagement. I think I heard a good click. There we go, traction control off, four low. Now we're gonna go into terrain. I'm going to turn off the air conditioning, bring up our cameras. Whole lot of tech in this baby. We don't feel like running over shrubbery, so I'm gonna back up. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's right. We don't have a backup camera because of our bike rack. That's right. Ah, oh, the 
the suspension on this just has such a different characteristic than the uh, Toyota's EPS Active. Thank you. Why? All right, we got locking various bits, rear diff locked. We have one of those views that'll show us our tires. Let's see. What does this one do? That's not super helpful. Oh, those are underbody cams. We can, we can wash those, right? I think if we do this. No, how do we? There we go. Ha ha ha! That's a little better, right? That's what we want. wide enough to miss this big rock over here. Oh my gosh, like it's nothing. <laughs> what can't this truck do? <laughs> well, turn very well maybe. Three point this. down. Again, not a fantastic refresh rate on that cam. But thank goodness for it, because this is a meaty hood. It's harder to see over the hood on this than it is the Tacoma. But I'm not nearly as nervous about things like approach and departure angles, because uh, they're just so dramatic, especially with these 35s. Let's go find more hills to crawl. I like that the camera stays up even at higher speeds. That's something that Toyota products were not doing for us. know if we're going to fit through here width-wise. Ah, okay. We seem to have potentially met our match in the canyon. Um, confirming we don't have any sort of crawl control. We're going to, let's lock the front diff and just see what happens here. But again, I don't think I can make it through there regardless once I get there. Back it down. That's the nice thing about crawling up hills is you can typically get back down them. <laughs> what about right here? This looks kind of cool. Oh. 
Okay. Um, it's possible this just broke. Can I drive? Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's, uh, all right. Front, front diff seems to have unlocked itself. Let's unlock the rear diff. Didn't like being stuck. Hmm. Interesting. Let's bring it out of four low and see if see if everything feels okay. Service trailer brake system. Uh, let's go four high. We'll give it a restart and see how, how things look here. Okay, we, uh, we're looking all right. Hmm. <laughs> let's, uh, let's hit Baja mode. See if it's driving okay. Seem, uh, we seem fine. So that seems to be where our match is. 